Okay. And I do see it over on YouTube. Awesome. Hello, guys. This is Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner doing our first guest crafter <laughs> live stream. And hopefully we won't have any kind of issues. So uh, we're just going to go with it and see how it does. Uh, Miss Susie, can you hear me? I do see that you're already in the chat. Okay, I don't know if anybody heard me or not. I may not have had the mic on that screen. But anyway, um, hello, Susie. Are you able to hear me? Okay, so now I can see her comments, so that's awesome. So thank you so much, Miss Susie, for letting me know you were able to hear me. <laughs> Hello, Miss Kim. How are you doing tonight? So um, I don't know if the intro came through or not, but I am, as usual, Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner, and tonight we are doing our very first um, guest video live stream. So this, we're probably going to have some technical difficulties, but I'm going to give it a shot anyway. Uh, looks like I need to adjust the screen so you'll be able to see who our uh, first guest crafter is. We've got Miss Elizabeth Costa Rogers on here with us tonight, and she's going to be crafting with us. And I probably don't have your audio on, so say it again. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, hello, hello. How so are, are you guys able to hear Miss Elizabeth now? This is going to be fun. Yeah, mine is watching my YouTube. I'm on a huge lag. Yeah, I'm always on a lag. That's why I'm watching right now. I'm watching you via Zoom. But I'm still looking at the chat to see what's going on. So we've yeah. got Miss Gloria Wolf on here. We've got Mary Landers on here, too. Yeah, Welcome, yeah. ladies. And I'm going to assume that you guys can see and hear both of us. Um, one more thing I'm going to double check on is the voting to see whether or not there have been any new votes come in for the project we're going to work on tonight. Um, as most of you guys probably already know, what we're doing now is we are letting you vote on what project you want to work on, uh, want us to work on, and I'm also inviting someone to come and craft with me. So this week, Miss Elizabeth won, so welcome Miss Elizabeth, but you guys have also been um, filling out the little survey and um, voting on what project you want to do, want us to do. So I'm just going to double check one more time and see if there are any new votes in. Okay, so what we've got, we've actually got a tie between two. And let me, I need to make another screen real quick because I need to pull up the images of the two different projects that I'm wanting to do and I'm gonna share something I don't normally share but that's okay oversharing is always fun <laughs> <laughs> absolutely so the weird thing you're seeing on the screen is where I'm trying to pull well that was fun that isn't what I wanted to do so let me <laughs> Let me try that one more time. <laughs> I'm supposed to already be logged into that. So anyway, get rid of that. Yep. <laughs> my, my dirty nails. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little extra paint on them today. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to pull up the pens and let you guys see that because that should not be a problem. Yep, and I've got my screen open so I can look at it. So that was one of them, and the next one is that card. Okay. Yeah, that green one I voted for. 
Uh, I love them both, so I'm happy making either one of them. Oops, I lost my commenters. Where'd you go? There you are. Oh, and let's get that live chat and that thumbs up. Woohoo! And this was not supposed to be um, with the background gone, but apparently it is. What the heck? <laughs> okay, this is fun. Okay, I'm going to try one more other option because that is not working for me. And I thought I had everything set up. I am so sorry, guys. Oh, no worries. This, this is fun to watch because one of these days I'm going to try it on my channel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Save image as. I don't know. Do you do you use OBS? Nope. I just use straight from Streamlabs. Um, I haven't figured out the OBS stuff yet. Okay, so I'm adding one image, and this image is gonna be from. Come on, you stupid thing. Cooperate. Oh, it's looking at the wrong image. Okay. It just pulled up the last one that I did. And I saved it there. Okay. Here is one of the cards, assuming it comes through. Come um, on, you stupid thing. There we yeah. go. Now we can see it. There is one of the cards that you guys were voting for. Yes, Gloria, it was Miss Elizabeth Coaster Rogers. So she is on here with us. And, uh, I'm gonna correct you. I'm Costa. Costa. So I've been pronouncing nope. it wrong. That's all right. Sorry Costa, about that. Oh no, it's all right. I always tell people I'm not an island. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's my stepdad's last name, the Costa. He was par Portuguese. Ah. Yeah. All right. And That's now let me get card. the other card up. Had to get to the page because it was a pen of a pen. I don't know. And do another image. Nope, not a Costco. Costa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gonna cost ya. Yeah. Well, that's not what I wanted to do either. Okay, that made it huge. I promise next time I will do better than this guy. So sorry. Oh my goodness. I thought one thing would work and it didn't. So here are the two runner-ups. I think you guys can probably see them now. So you guys did cost a lot. That's what Mary Landers said. That's funny. Um, anyway, there are two runners up for vi for cards that you guys wanted us to do. And these are ones that you voted on. So now I'm going to let you vote on which one do you want us to work on tonight. Uh, it's also possible that if we still have extra time, but seeing as we've already taken up almost 10 minutes, just getting to this point, we probably won't. Um, <laughs> if we have extra time, we could always work on the other one. So go ahead and put your vote in the chat. Do you want the bouquet, which is the green card on the left? Or do you want the partial see-through card that's on the right? Now, again, what we're going to be doing is using these for inspiration. So our cards are not going to be exactly like these. I've already got some ideas for both of them. And um, wouldn't you like to have shares in Costco? Right. <laughs> Oh, that is so funny. Yes. Powerful. Yeah. We got one for the bouquet. Two for the bouquet. One for happy birthday. And you're able to see them faster than me because they're not showing up on mine yet for some reason. And then, un <laughs> Gloria. She wants them both. <laughs> Gloria wants them both. Okay, and also what I'm doing <laughs> is that after this live stream, I'm, I'm actually going to change how I'm doing the winner. Um, 
I am going to give away whatever card I make to someone that is on the live now. What I was requiring before was you had to vote, you had to chat, you had to um, post voted on the last video, all of that stuff. I'm just going to change it and say you have to be in the chat tonight. So if you're yeah. on here tonight, I will be sending my card to someone here, okay? Um, and you guys, like I said, you get to vote on which one you want to do. And so, if it's all right, I will also pick a winner and send my cards that way awesome. to somebody else, too. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to have two winners tonight. And I do want to do a real quick shout out to Miss TR, honey. I, I hope you're doing okay. And just know that I'm thinking about you, okay, hon? It looks like she has probably already had to leave. She did tell me before that she's got um, family in town right now for some, oh, yep, some issues. Oh, yep, there it says, uh, okay, got to go. Watch the yep. replay. Well, hello during the re replay. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So just going to glance okay. back up. Mary wants both. Gloria wants both. We might be able to squeeze that happy birthday one. Looks like it might be pretty simple. Yeah, it just depends on how elaborate you decide you want to go with it afterwards. But yeah, I mean, I've done a bouquet card before. It's been two years i think i did it for a swap i did for one group i think that was card conga over on facebook and i haven't been doing any any swaps with them mostly because i don't have the time <laughs> it's yeah. like you get all the invitations and there's like a, a half dozen different cards you want to make but you don't have time to get them all done right so i'm just sticking to the two that we have right now we've got the crafting with debbie and then we've got the boiling snobs club which miss elizabeth is one of the administrators on um sorry no you're not nope i'm not in that group anymore oh i didn't know so sorry yeah. i did not know well you're welcome here hon <laughs> <laughs> okay so i'm gonna let miss elizabeth decide which card would you like to start on first um, let us start with the happy birthday. Okay. Because I have everything for that. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so that is what we're going to start on, ladies. Um, and you can join in with us if you'd like as well. Uh, for that one, I gathered up a bunch of different things. I've got a bunch of card pieces to start with. I do have a piece of acetate, which I yeah, think I was an ex- my acetate. <gasps> You Advanced. cheated. You already have got stuff cut out with your cricket. Well, that's because <laughs> I do not have any dye. Ah. So I was like, when I saw your email, like just before the live, I was like, oh, I can make those up really quick. And so all I did was <laughs> I put a, um, when you type the text, you can make it a certain width and height. So I did one inch tall by five and a half so they're all one inch tall by five and a half the the whole thing so that they'll fit on my little card and i'm going to go a slightly different route i'm going to stamp and then just fussy cut the thing out yeah and this the stamp set that i'm picking out for this one is simon says stamp slimline greetings Although this isn't a slimline card, the happy birthday comes with, as two separate pieces. Plus the happy other, there's actually four versions of happy on here. Happy anniversary is all one word or one um, stamp, but happy Halloween and happy Thanksgiving and happy birthday come as three separate happy stamps. Those so, are cute. Yeah. Think that See, I need to invest in some greeting stamps like that. I think I have like a big high that I recently got, but I've like missed the boat on all these sentiment stamps. Oh, my problem is okay. I don't have the dies. <laughs> and I didn't realize <laughs> I didn't have any happy birthday dies until I'm searching for happy birthday dies. Okay, so. And I want to go all colorful and happy so I'm going to use my Kaleida color again. I'm also trying to use scraps which is why you see that I've got a scrap out. Um, 
Some of you guys may already know, but we've got, there is the Scrap Hoarders video series out again. Um, the first one was a year ago. We did it last June. We did another one back in December. And now we've got another one this week that is birthday theme. Hence the name for, need for birthday dies that I don't have. <laughs> so, so we did our first video last week. We did another one. Um, is going up this Saturday and then another one the following Saturday and we've got a giveaway in that too. So if you're interested, you can check out my channel to see that that series. And I don't want to use, I guess I will use this. I was thinking I wasn't going to use my Tim Holtz, but I guess I will use my stamp platform for this anyway. So I need, and I'm debating whether or not to do the Oh, that would be nice. I think I am going to use the um, the outline stamp for this. Yeah. The letters I picked have this weird outline that is just uber thin, but I don't need the outline. I just want the fatty part in the middle. Uh, I've got a... Um, a Excuse me. I've got a scan and cut, and you're usually in the software able to remove those pieces. But I know this was quick and dirty because you just thought, oh boy, I can play with this today. Yeah. <laughs> Get those little chunks out of there. And I think I've cut two different ones, and I think I like the bubbly one, so I'm going to go with that one. And you, well, it's happy birthday, so who doesn't love balloons, right? Right. Okay. So I have my card base, or panel, not my base, but my panel. No, we can't do it. We need to chop a section out of this in order to put our acetate in there. Oh, that looks cute. So we want our happy right in there. I'm just going to do this right on the card base. Let's see. Maybe let's cut. Cut an inch off the bottom. Two inch. Nope. Inch and a half. I'm going to cut an inch and a half off the bottom. And these are an inch tall. Well, they're smaller because that border. So I'm going to measure these little guys. An inch still works. I'm going to take an inch off. Little hair. Okay. So that's going to be our acetate. So on my flap. Okay, so we're going to have to trim it that way. That'll work. And a half. One a quarter. So for my happy, I am just cutting a slight offset, just like you would have if it was a die. I think it's about a, what, a sixteenth of an inch or so around the actual border. Now I could, if I was doing a bunch of these, I would use my scan and cut instead. Just like I know that Miss Elizabeth would probably do the same thing. Because if you scan yeah. it, yeah, if you um, import the image, I think you can cut any size and such you want to, right? Yeah. That's from the videos I've watched. I don't actually own a scan and cut yet. <laughs> Yeah, I love my scanning cut. Well, that's the thing. I don't have a Cricut, so I don't know for sure, but I think that's the way I've heard that you can do things now. There's supposed to be, they, I guess they keep on adding more things to the software for the Cricut. And yeah, it's the I'm most popular thing. Print and cut feature. 
that's one thing I want to look at. So I'm just putting a little tape right in there. And it's the clear double-sided stuff. Red line tape. Super strong yeah. stuff. Super strong. And now I'm going to put, I'm going to line up these two pieces and then close the flap. Right? That should work. Okay. Oh, I should have put a piece right there at the bottom too. It's all right. We can fix that. Well, I have to say I'm happy that we're not having any more technical difficulties. Right. Because all fabulous. of mine was just planning. It didn't work because I didn't plan enough. I thought I did. <laughs> um, I yeah. do want to go over to the chat real quick and say thank you to Miss Susie. She says that she loves the um, scrap hoarder series and she's already made a few embellishments because that's what last week's um, videos were about cool. this this week I made tags and I think I might show you guys a sneak peek of a couple of the tags that I made for this time I like sneak peeks. yeah and we've also got sometimes I put myself in too many things I mean come on I'm in two <laughs> I'm in two hops on Saturday oh wow yeah I'm in my first team tiny hop at the towards the end of the month. Awesome! I did Team Tiny last year and that helped me so much. Yeah. I mean, that's oh one God. of the reasons why I'm, as far as I am, I did a lot of Team Tiny and a bunch of hops last year. And that's awesome. Yeah, and because of that, I've gotten, I mean, right now I'm just, on, I'm over 2,000 subscribers now. Cool. Um, but I'm not near the 4,000 mark yet for well, I'm getting there. I've got like about 500 more hours per year to get to yeah. that part. But anyway, it's it's fine. It's just it just takes a while. That's all. Yep. And Sorry, I put I, up a bunch. I, it's also bad when you got not just the stuff that you're wanting to do for your channel. Like I've got um, design team projects and that sort of thing and cards that I want to do. But then you think of all these things that you think are so cool. And then you right? don't get around to getting them done. So you try to slam it all at one time. So I've got, I, I'm apologizing now. I got all of my nail videos done, like, and they're posted daily for about like four days this week. Sweet. <laughs> so I, I had bought the um, poly gel from McCart, and that's yeah, what I used on them. my nails. I didn't do a DIY showing how, but I showed you know, what's in the box, how my nails looked after the first attempt and after the last attempt. Plus another company had um, sent me a nail drill and I, I did an unboxing. Yeah. I did an unboxing for that. Yep, I use uh, the Dremel, but I have the attachment. So it's like a pin. Okay. And so that really works for me. All right, so what I did is I went and taped this on, mm -hmm. but I just tape the one side so I could use the un or the covered side to use it as a placement. Absolutely. That works good. There. So I'm right now I've got a card base that I just scored so I'd make sure it was kind of in the right spot and I'm putting it before folding it in my Tim Holtz mat. I've got the birthday stamp that I'm going to use and this again I'm using this Kaleidacolor Spectrum um, Raised Rainbow Ink dye ink pad whatever it's got five different colors on there and the way that you use it is you there's a lever you squeeze them together and then you're able to get a an kind of a blend of basically your rainbow cool so that's what i'm doing and then to get them to the colors to kind of blend together you just kind of shuffle it back and forth a little bit yeah and i always want to have the orange on there because that's so bright and pretty this one is going to be a little bit weird. I don't know if I'm, I'm going to have to do a sample on this one. I don't know if I'm going to like how I just did that stamping. Let me take another piece of scrap. Actually, it didn't turn out too bad. I was afraid I was going back and forth way too much. <laughs> you know, having too much blend. Yeah. I don't know if that's really a possibility, is it? 
<laughs> you could wind up with some some brown in there somewhere. So I'm basically stamping on the inside of my card with the birthday. Oh, that looks cute. And then I think, since this is dye ink, it's probably, I don't think it's water reactive, but I'm going to pretend it is. Right. Because I'm going to go ahead and just color in the birthday. Okay, my birthday, my H is not fitting. Oh, well, we're just going to eyeball it because that's not working. H -A -T -T well, on, the, on, the, on the blog post, I saw that the person had made a couple of different versions. One of them was with the letters right in the middle of the acetate, and another one was where they were kind of overlapping. Huh. So that, I think it would work either way. Okay, my orange didn't go down enough. Where's my P? There's my P. Okay, so we're going to do the end ones first. These cannons that the neighbors have bought are terrible. They set one off at 8 o'clock this morning. I about fell out of bed. Their fireworks are doing crazy stuff? Yeah, and they're not like just a firecracker. It's like a huge cannon. Oh my goodness. Uh, looking over at the chat, Gloria's going to get some food because she's hungry. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. She says, be right back. The guys are hungry. Of course <laughs> they up. are. Yeah. Um, Mary Landers says she loves Team Tiny, and she's going to get back to those. Miss Sandy is now on here. Miss Sandy Visker, welcome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we are doing, actually, we're going to attempt oh. to do two cards tonight. Um, we have on this video, this is the first one that I've done like this, where I've got a a guest crafter and i've got miss elizabeth on here with us so she is making a card with us too and we basically are going by those um those cards that you guys voted for on that survey that i did one of them was a see-through ish birthday card let me let me go ahead and put up the pictures one more time so this one is the inspiration for the card we're working on right now the other one is this bouquet card so we're planning on doing both of those if we have enough time. It's already almost six o'clock, so who knows? <laughs> anyway, um, we are going with that right now. And let me turn off that so you can see both of us. Um, welcome, Ms. Karen. I am so glad that you dropped in to hang out with us. And I do want to remind you guys that if you want to be a part of, be one of my guest crafters, I am planning on doing that some more, so just be sure to vote. There is a link down in the description um, to do that. And um, also, if you want to vote on what next week's project is, go ahead and do that as well. I don't know if I'm going to do something, um, do one of these every single week. It really depends on the number of votes that come in. Um, and people that sign up to be a guest. But I'd love to have a guest crafter every week. That would be awesome. Yeah. This, this is, is fun. Exciting. Even with all the technical difficulties at the beginning, this is fun. I agree. Get that over there. And I know Miss Elizabeth has, has a channel on her own anyway, but... That doesn't mean that folks can't sign up to be a guest crafter if you don't have a channel. If you have access to do a Zoom call, yep. then you could definitely join me. And um, I would recommend it. If you're thinking about doing your own YouTube, you know, be a little guest appearance. Kind yeah, of get your feet feel wet. For it. Absolutely. Yep. I think I've got too much ink <laughs> down on my counter. <laughs> also i don't really like this recollections water brush but my other one's empty this one is has got like a, a flat brush and doesn't really work as good okay if we could spell that would be great <laughs> that H. Right. okay i had it easier because i've got my stamp is all together <laughs> Come on. 
colors now. I think this is one of the first times I've tried to blend colors with watercoloring. I'm not real good at it. My problem is there's so many different things I want to do. I don't have time to do them all. Right? I mean, every time I try something, you know, I try it and it works out good. And, you know, actually I have to cut a lot of this stuff out of the videos because, you know, I'll do like two or three of the same thing. And yeah. about the time you get to the second or third, you know, you kind of got your rhythm down. But the first one kind of sucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh man i had a video like that the other day i had to redo it so many times the worst thing for me with redoing videos is when i'm when i think i'm recording and i didn't actually hit the record button or oh. the button where you're hitting record because i'm doing it via computer sometimes i think i just don't hit it right like yeah. i i hit it i hit it thinking i'm hitting record and instead i say stop recording <laughs> I did that with my volume one. <laughs> uh, I did that with last last week's. Um, at least a little splotchy, but I did that with last week's um, scrap hoarders. You probably saw that, Miss Elizabeth. When I did the scrap hoarders for um, making embellishments, the reason there were so many embellishments there instead of just the two that took forever to do was because. When I got done with the first two and I'm ready to start editing and I start pulling it together, it turns out, oh, <laughs> I didn't actually record that. I'm sorry. Okay, let me clean up some of this mess so that I don't get ink everywhere. If I can find my microfiber cloth. Does anybody else, has anybody seen my fiber, microfiber cloth? <laughs> Right? I do that. I always ask them, what'd you guys do with it? I know. It's the it's the gremlins. <laughs> uh, Sandy said to just pretend that you're on Stamp Wars and kick it into high gear. <laughs> <laughs> zoom, zoom. Okay, so yeah, I've got the... I don't know. I did terrible on that. So. <laughs> okay, so I've got the inside of my card watercolored. And... I'm so I'm going to hit that with my heat tool real quick because I don't want to smear it on anything. And now I'm going to go ahead and fold it. And still hoping it's dry enough so it doesn't get on the inside okay so that even actually even if it got on the inside because of what kind of card this is it shouldn't be a big problem so i'm going to use my paper trimmer to tell me where to cut so i'm just having it right up against the blade and i think i'm going to go at oh that's a good idea mary Two and an eighth. Mary puts her towel in a command in a ring on a command hook. I've got my paper towels hooked on a couple. Of, I this is funny. I've got a couple of command hooks under my desk because I'm working at a desk. I'm not standing up at a counter, so I don't have a whole lot of space. But under my desk, on my right hand side, I've got two command hooks in there. And then, why did I mark it on the wrong side? Okay, this is still going to be good. Um, but I've got a piece of baker's twine looped through a um, paper towel roll. There you go. <laughs> and it has been working great. <laughs> so those days when you see me pull out one after another after another of my paper towels, that's exactly why. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to cut that there. And my happy birth my birthday shows up just fine underneath that cut. Awesome. I uh, don't have a good eraser here. I hate my erasers. I have to remember what my husband did with what I did with the one he gave me. My husband's an engineer, so he has all the stuff that he used when he was going through like drafting school and all that kind of stuff. 
And he gave me one of his erasers that works great, but of course I don't remember what I did with it. Okay. Let's see if I can get rid of the cat hair. I have black cats, so they're always everywhere. Yeah, I've got light colored animals and their hairs are everywhere too. And my tea wants to go everywhere. Okay, so... I think the easiest way for me to put this together is just to have it all the way in the card and just put another layer of cardstock on the other side. So I'm going to grab some... Is this my good tape? Yeah. This tape is from scrapbook.com, some double-sided adhesive. So I'm going to go ahead and just put that on the inside there. Top and bottom and then some in the middle so we've got good coverage. And I'm just using my jewel picker to pick up my letters. Because otherwise they're not going to be in the right spot. And I'm getting better at my nails, so I can actually pick some stuff up, but with this much tape, I'm not going to chance it. It's going to take me forever. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then so that I can get this lined up right, which isn't as important because my acetate is bigger than the card, I'm just going to line it up with the fold and then fold the top down. And then I'm going to trim it off with my paper trimmer. There you go. And to help line mine up, I put the first letter down and then put a piece of paper across the bottom as my guide. And then you kind of do your center letter, you do your ends, you do the center, and then you can space them out. Yeah. And I just colored mine with different colors. And look. <laughs> Glued the wrong side of that R. Let's try that again. And I'm not going to throw away these little scraps of acetate. I've been seeing some um, pop up box cards and stuff. They barely intimidate me because I keep thinking I'm going to fold one of the little things inside it and it's not going to fit. But I've seen right. a lot of them lately where people are using pieces of acetate to make all of their little critters and stuff kind of fly cool. inside the card. And I think that is just, that's what I'm thinking. That is just too cool. So let me see if this scrap is the right size for the inside. And almost, I just need to cut off about an eighth of an inch, and then it'll cover the acetate on the inside, and then I can work on the bottom half. So cut that down to about two. And again, I am going to use my double-sided tape for this. I think I need to make more of these cards because it's so stinking easy and I never do it. Right? I think the last see-through type of card I did was a Halloween one that had like a, a ghost die across the top. <laughs> it was like it almost looked like a shaped card except that it was plastic for the part that was open. But it that's was too cool. cool, but that's like 2 years ago. This is my first see-through one, I think. Which means you saw it and thought, oh, I know I can do that. Pretty much. That's what I think of all of us crafters anyway. We see something and we think, I can do that. 
right? I mean, at least like 20 years ago, I used to go to those little uh, mini craft fairs that they'd have in the mall. And yeah. I would never buy anything because I'd look at it and say, think to myself, what? I can make that. <laughs> <laughs> I do that. Yeah. And something. then you don't make it. And then it's like, you just don't have it. But you won't buy it. You won't pay for it because you know you can make it. <laughs> And there we go. I added a little bit of bling to the outside of mine. Awesomeness. Well, you know that's coming. Okay, mm -hmm. so I've got part of mine done. You're almost done with yours. I think I am. Okay. Nice bright alcohol ink letters. Awesomeness. And they dried really fast. <laughs> you know, it's alcohol ink. Oh, I like it. Very nice. Okay, I'm looking for a scrap of cardstock I can use without using another card base. Ah, and I didn't really want to get into my bin. I've made a lot of card bases the last couple of days. <laughs> I saw your Christmas video. Yeah, and then I'm going to have another one tomorrow. Awesome. And then that'll be 30 Christmas cards for playing catch up. And then next month I'll have one Christmas card video. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of three. Okay. And if you watch my channel, you know that I like to clean up. <laughs> and we're going to use our scrap paper and see what we get. So we've got that in. Mm -hmm. Those are fun. And I'm just spraying a uh, watered down alcohol because I bought the 99% um, Sorry, I whacked the. All right. That's very interesting. Okay, that is going to work mm -hmm. good. So I cut out another piece of cardstock from my scrap bin that is five and a half by one and a quarter and that's just enough space to go right below where the birthday is so we're just going to have that um, that acetate window. Cool. Throw all my garbage away. Yeah and if you guys don't have acetate you you might have some packaging lying around and yeah, this piece of acetate I'm using here is is basically it was a spare that came in um, in a stamp set. They yeah. Ac yeah, somebody accidentally put a piece in there and it's like okay. And the this only the only stuff I the only stuff I ever buy is I bought a big thing of transparencies. I don't know a couple of years ago, and I haven't gone through them all. Hello, Cordelia. Thank you for joining us today. Miss Cordelia is here. Awesome. Yep, she says, I'm late. <laughs> You're going to have to watch the replay, honey. Okay. So this mm -hmm. is, I know I keep on doing the same spiel every time, right? This, <laughs> actually, I want to make sure that that goes straight. So I'm going to use a removable adhesive because I'm going to line it up on the inside first and then I'm going to put the wood on the outside and then trim it if I need to. So I'm going to use a, a removable adhesive on the inside to line up this piece of cardstock with the sticky side up. So all I have to do is fold the card shut to get it in the right spot on the acetate. Because otherwise it's not going to be on there anywhere near straight. And it's still not wanting to work. Okay, come on. This is also old <laughs> re removable adhesive. Okay, it stayed in place, and so now I'm just going to fold that down. And it worked. It looks like my cardstock is a little bit smaller than what it's supposed to be, but I don't care too much. It's going to be on the inside. So now I'll take another piece. This is going to be for the outside. Put down my double sided adhesive right on the acetate. Oh, you are already starting on your bouquet card. And well, that's, that's a bright green. Yep, that is some later gator and some overzealous. 
That is uh, love so, me so, so, Simon so Hurley's. I'm going to have to get some of that. I don't have any Simon Hurley um, inks. I've got Catherine Pooler and I've got Tim Holtz. And then I've got whatever I've happened to pick up when I first started card making over at Michael's or Joanne's. Yeah. See, if I had had Catherine Pooler or um, my first set of inks were just the little mini distressors. Yeah, I love those. I, I've got, I've still got like four of the tens full of them. Yeah, and um, I was watching Simon, and I'm like, ooh, I like that color. And then I saw that overzealous, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna go try his inks. And I bought the whole set at the time. Then the next colors that came out, and then all of them. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't have any Catherine Poolers or anything like that. I just have these guys. Okay, and then what I did is I ink blended, and then I always clean up. I spritz in my ink that's on the glass and pick it up, and I did that right over my ink blending. So it added some more texture to that. Awesome. Well, that's why I'm leaving this here. I need to pick it up with another card panel in a minute, but yeah. I'm not ready to do that yet. Because there's always the chance that you'll need to do a touch-up. <laughs> <laughs> Gloria says she got a pack of 10 12 by 12 acetate from Michaels. It costs a couple bucks. Yep, I got a whole pack of transparency from Amazon, and that's what I've been using. Oh, no, that's my Apollo. I've got two types of transparencies. One that's great for printing and foiling, and then the other for crafts. <laughs> Plus a whole bucket of packaging that I've chopped up. Well, after the fact, I just realized that what I probably need to do is I probably need to back my happy, you know, put it on the front and then on the back, because otherwise you're going to see the adhesive, cut another one, which means it's good I cut another one. <laughs> yeah. But now I got to spend all that time cutting it out. I don't think that one This one. I'm going to so, do my frame just a little bit different, I think. So Cordelia, uh, I know that you said that you were late, but what we're doing, I'm sure you already know, but what we're doing is we're doing a card based, actually a couple of cards, and Miss Elizabeth is ahead of me already on this. We're doing a couple of cards based on the voting that you guys did uh, using that link that I've got down in the description. The two cards that we are going to be working on is, this first one that I'm working on is inspired by by this card on the right and the one that that Elizabeth's working on is inspired by the card on the left yeah. and I'm hoping I'm gonna have time to do a bouquet card too <laughs> <laughs> so now what I'm doing is I'm just cutting out this second happy that I stamped to have a spare just in case which turns out I actually needed it. Um, but I'm going to place that on the inside of the acetate, backing the, um, the one that's on the front so that you don't see it on the ends. You don't see the back of it or the adhesive on the inside. Cutter. And while I'm chatting a little bit, I want to remind you guys that you can still vote for next week's card what you want to want us to do um, I still have that inspiration board up I've actually added more cards to that as I come across them um, I mean there's so many gorgeous creations out there it's just not funny so I've got well, more cards on there to act as inspiration and um, I'd love for you guys to vote for those and let me know what you want us to work on next week also if you want to join uh, join me as a guest crafter vote for that to go ahead and sign up for that too there is a a link down in the description for that as well i may not have one every week because i don't want to have the same people on all the time but i know elizabeth wouldn't mind it <laughs> 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 but um even if you don't have a youtube channel if you just want to give put get your feet wet and give this thing a try if you've got access to a camera that you can use and um zoom that would be perfect because that's what we're using tonight and so far it looks like it is working pretty good even though i did have some technical difficulties at the beginning 
which I'm probably going to edit out before the, I um, post the lives, the, the replay. I usually just let the replay go up as is. <laughs> yep, that's what I do. <laughs> I'm like, just fast forward, people. If you're catching the replay, just fast forward. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't have time for this. But I think I have a feeling if people go through, you guys love me, so you're willing to stick around through all of that stuff at the start. But on a replay, I don't know if you'd be willing to sit, you know, through five minutes of me trying to figure out how to get this darn thing to work. <laughs> okay, since we are doing acetate, I'm going to go ahead and put some, again, that double-sided adhesive from scrapbook.com on the back of my happy oh you know what i should have cut this out of black because i don't have a die i have stamps that i was going to use my tim holtz flowers but what i think i will do is frame it. I'll stamp them on the inside. Just don't forget about the bouquet part. Yeah. Yeah, my bouquet is going to be stamped. If I can find my Misty. She's hanging out with the Misty. My overzealous gator colors. <laughs> that mm. yeah, just a little bit and that who shall we start with it? okay I think I finally got enough well almost enough score tape to go on here Ooh, I have an idea okay. I wasn't sure if I still had this um the skinny step or not. So I'm going to do a stamp off. Where's my black? See if this works. We're going to stamp off. Do a shadowy one in the back. I like that. Clean that in a minute. Oh, Miss um, Gloria was saying that you can color the frame. Yeah, you certainly can. I'm going to see how it looks with the white. Otherwise, I might change it and either cut black or yeah I need to stamp off do a couple in the shadowy area so we can get some layers going switch that one to the side now we're going to stamp a couple in full color Score tape is so strong that it made me rip my happy. Oh no! It's okay. I'm the only one that's going to notice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the happy's in, and I don't even know if it's in the center there. I'm guessing. Because it's also strong enough, it's not going to let me <laughs> pull it back up. <laughs> okay, now I need to put this on the back. Those are some pretty flowers. Thank you. 
but I just realized what you thought I was saying. I was saying bokeh as B-O-K-E-H, which is that visual, um, the way it looks when you're taking a picture and you've got like dust or droplets or something in there. Because that's what I saw on the card. I mean, yes, yeah, she used a, a uh, floral piece on there too, but it wasn't a bouquet as in bouquet of flowers. And I just realized, I think that you were thinking it was bouquet as in bouquet of flowers. It doesn't really matter because it's your inspiration. You're inspired by whatever it is you saw on there. So that's awesome. Okay, so I'm obviously learning a new word. So those little <laughs> water droplets and stuff is a bouquet as well. It's it's called it's B O K E H, and I just put my happy back. I put the tape on the wrong side. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Don't blame me. I didn't do it. <laughs> no, it was not your fault. Let me see if I can get this off with without putting too much, you know, ripping the card too much. And let's see if I can just add it to the other side. So far, so good. Second piece coming up. Awesome. It would not be a Crafting with Debbie live stream if there wasn't me screwing up on something. Oh, yeah. I think <laughs> it's just how it's supposed to be because I have boo-boos in mine all the time. <laughs> um, today, I got my hand stuck in the, or no, was that yesterday? I got my hand stuck in the lunar paste, and I have that stuff everywhere. <laughs> and that is why one of my nails has got golden loveliness on it. <laughs> All right. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure how funny. to acquire, ooh, you know, I know exactly how to acquire those dots. I can oh, give you a hint because I've like I've watched a couple of vid. Okay, I learned everything I do because I watched videos. Right. <laughs> you use white pigment ink, and some way of doing a circle stencil. Mm hmm. So what I was planning yeah. on doing because it's now almost six thirty, so I don't have time. So I'll have to do it on another one. Um, I cut out using some circle hole punches. You know, some different size circle punches, um, made a little stencil, and basically layered them. Let me see oh, if I can, yeah, let me pull up the picture one more time. Is it this one? That's mine. So these little circles you see, if you're able to see it on YouTube, you've got the different places. So all she did on that one was those are basically through a circle stencil. Yep, and if you have the distress oxides and stuff, those would lift really well. Very if true. Got, got like a what are so they if you've got a, a circle, wipe. yeah, if you've got a through a stencil, absolutely, or if you've got a circle stamp, I think that would work well too. Yeah. Oops, that is not background. Background. Is this my background? No, these are backgrounds. Okay, so if we did... Ooh, I'm going to do hexagons. That would work, too. That is a good inspiration. Because in inspiring just means that you get ideas from somewhere and you do what you want with them. It's not supposed to look exactly like it. So I'm going to grab a little tissue and see if I can lift because his simon hurley inks are water reactive too mm -hmm. we'll see if we can't lift some of those spots some a little bit because i never thought about doing it that way i just was thinking layering up um, unicorn white pigment ink from hero arts because that's what i've got yep and i think that was mm. probably the reason i got it oh that is interesting looking though Yeah, so you've got lots of options to do that. I like that. But yeah, I am so sorry, Miss um, Elizabeth. I accidentally had that photo up over your screen. <laughs> so it's you, right. we can see you now again. I am so sorry, guys. Okay, let's see. So all I did is I put my stencil down mm -hmm. and 
Um, you can either use a baby wipe or a wet napkin, or you can do a spurt directly in there and then tap it up. And, and I'll lift course, some of it. Yep. Um, your distress, oops, I tore my paper a little bit, a little too rough on the rubbing there. Um, distress oxides, if you work, if I'd have thought about this sooner, I could have done this sooner and it would have worked a little bit better. Um, and I just thought that this would also be a good technique to try doing with alcohol inks and the alcohol lift ink. Yeah, that would be yeah. kind of cool. So now I'm going to just see about adding some white. Some Hero the, Arts Unicorn White. Yep. Oh, I like that even better. Yeah, I know it worked great for me when I did it the last time. But like I said, it's been a couple of years. So I don't think I even made a video for that one. Here we go. I think we have something to put on our to-do list. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> How to do a All bouquet right. card. Yeah. All right. And then we can debate over the white frame or if we need to get a black frame. I love the the white. I'm liking the white too. Yeah. Because then we could do like a couple of gem clusters in one of the corners. Absolutely. Pretty. Okay, let's get that guy tacked down. But I don't want to see the because this is a flimsier paper. I didn't use a stronger paper, so I'm just gonna use my double stick tape to put it down so I don't have the glue marks through it. And this lovely tape is dollar store tape. <laughs> dollar tree. Okay, I have to ask, well, maybe it's just in Ohio. You found cutting dyes at Dollar Tree. Yes. I just I, looked at their I looked at their website right then when you were talking about that yesterday and they don't even have them on the website. Okay, here's the, here's the thing. A commenter on that video said she saw them months ago on a YouTube and has been waiting for them. And I'm like, months ago, they just showed up in mine. So yeah. apparently they're not all the same. You're right. Usually though, they have, uh, they have the stuff on the website. Um, yeah. I found, I found, well, I'm, it's full of stuff, but I found this bin, this little clear bin at Dollar Tree. And I went back there for about, two months because I wanted to do some reorganization on one of my cabinets because I can't find a darn thing in it and they never had it so I wound up ordering online a case of 12 to, to be delivered at the store and went and picked them up when they finally showed up but it yeah, took it took like a month online. oh yeah um I've got an affiliate link that I never use for them because I usually just go into the store yeah Oh, here's something else cute that I got at Dollar Tree. It's a little flamingo tape dispenser. <laughs> they had these and they have unicorns, but at my store, oh, they my just goodness. happen to get a couple, but they've got them on the website too. Oh, if they've got a, I need a unicorn. I haven't seen that. Okay, I have to get it. I'll be right back. Okay, Karen says, Dollar Tree hasn't had them on the website. The first time I saw Dollar Tree jives and stamps on YouTube over the past... It's a little purple tape dispenser. So cute. I know. So I had to get a couple. Okay, so my card <laughs> is finally done. Look at that. <laughs> So. Um, yes, Cordelia, you have some balloon dyes in different sizes. You bet you can make your own stencil. Absolutely. Okay, so I'm loving that. Yeah. And your sound kind of went wonky. Oh, did it? Yeah, I don't know if you moved your mic. No, I'm attached to my phone. Oh, that could do it. Uh, so my phone is just having issues. Okay. So we are at an, we are at an hour. So do you guys want us to keep going? 
<laughs> I didn't get a chance to start on my second card, <laughs> but I did the first one. Yeah. So I think I it like turned out pretty one. cute. But it needs bling, so do I want to do the hearts or do I want to do the gems? Thinking maybe the gems because this one that um, was recommended by Miss TR has got all the colors. So I have some green. Let's see, the front doesn't have any green, but it does have the navy. And I have... Is my sound still having troubles? Yeah, it's still weird. But I can understand you, and as long as the ladies can understand you, we're good. What do you guys think? Okay, Miss Carmen said she'd love to hang out some more. So she is so awesome. Yeah. YouTuber subby. Subbies are so wonderful. I know, absolutely. Um, Sandy does say that you sound weird. <laughs> of course we know that you are weird, but you know, that's kind of beside the point. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go ahead before I put on the gems because I had to move these because otherwise I couldn't get to my triangle trays. These are the little, these are some of the little things that I made for the um, Scrap Hoarders series hop this week. So I know you guys wanted oh, a sneak yeah. peek. So this one's got a little fairy. Got a little bee with happy bee day. Aww. <laughs> Your voice is sounding normal again. Another oh, little <laughs> another little fairy. Another little bee. Yeah, I made a bunch. <laughs> and I'm gonna be giving these away on um on my channel after the video. You just have to comment on the video. Okay, here's a couple that you're gonna like. I think I did two. This one's got baby Yoda has got Yoda. <laughs> baby Gorgu? <laughs> He's got Yoda, and then there's a little Ewok. <laughs> I love the Ewok. They're so cute. I know. Well, I had colored these up because I was planning on using them with the the um, the star backgrounds that I, the galaxy backgrounds that I did, and I haven't actually done anything with yet. <laughs> <laughs> so they were the perfect size to go on these. Those are, um, I believe, those stamps are from Kindred Stamps. Those are so cute. And then the other hop that I'm doing is a summer themed card. It's a, um, it was a challenge, so we had to go by their criteria. And this is a card that I made for that. So both of those hops are on Saturday. Fabulous. Yeah, my hop um, is a sponsored one. So I actually got digital designs from the company. And awesome. I'm like, Ooh, I've been playing with them in my editor so that I can print a ton of them and show them off. Well, I haven't I really see. told me. I think I may have mentioned this in the group once, but um, I got on the um, scrapbook, no, the um, Spellbinders <gasps> design team. Sweet. Yes, and I've got a ton of projects coming up that because the deadlines are so far off I haven't started on any of them of course as soon as the stuff comes in I play with it Im immediately so I made yeah. some some cute cards but I can't show them yet because they're products that aren't available yet <laughs> you gotta keep it to yourself I know That's hard. It's like, oh, yes look it. But no, you can't say oh look it <laughs> <laughs> I know but they are just the stuff I got is just it's just it's not really the style that I've done but it means I get to learn more things you know yeah so I have to figure out where do I want my little jimmies to go on this thing. And I don't think I'm going to go overboard. I think I'm just going to go with the standard three and two because that, that actually looks pretty cool. And I'm using basically the colors that I've got. This doesn't have any orange, which I kind of wish it did. 
it's got clear, it's got yellow, it's got, I'll use a pink. And those yeah. are a little bit larger. OMG, stick to the paper, not to me. And my jewel picker never, never, never wants to, st nothing wants to hold on to it like I tell it to. Um, I warm up my fingers and rub the end of it and it makes it more sticky. Get it back to a point. Uh, I'm considering just using the tweezers that came with my, um, my diamond canvas. But I keep that in my in the living room so that I will hopefully work on the thing <laughs> while I'm watching TV. Yeah. So I've got a little light pad that plugs into my um, my laptop because otherwise I couldn't see a darn thing. That's so, pretty good. I like it. Loving it. And doing it with the stamp off it gives a little shadow back there. I like that. Yeah, it looks like you've got some uh, extra dimension there. Those ones, the lighter ones are kind of in the background. Love that effect. Okay, putting my jimmies up so I don't spill them all over the place. Hello, Jean. And yeah, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Miss Jean. Um, so, yes. <laughs> So uh, for the for the spellbinders, what I'm going to be doing is I chose two different um, two different kits to do. Cool. Plus, they sometimes send you invitations to do other things, you know, hops and stuff, which I think is awesome. Also, so I'm doing the glimmer of the month, and I'm doing the large die kit of the month, and those um, I start next month. So Fabulous. means that my first video. My first post because I don't think they actually require a video so I'm still figuring out you know how I want to do this but yeah. the first one isn't due until like the 10th so it's like okay I've got plenty of time to, to figure out what I need to do yeah just don't let it creep up on you <laughs> oh exactly I do that all the time well, I'm trying to start getting ahead, which is one reason why you guys saw lots of videos that had absolutely nothing to do with card making <laughs> well, I told you, I just finished doing all of those um, for, that's what I'm looking for. I'm trying to rearrange my stuff so I can actually find stuff and put it away. Okay. So for my second card, <laughs> anyway, um, I just finished putting up all those videos for the, um, for the nail stuff that I was working on because yep. The hardest part, I'd say, for the last six months or whatever, has been trying to get, trying to do my nails every week and finding time to actually do it because I was having to do them every week and it drives me bananas. Yeah. So the last ones that you, all the pink ones that I had on, you probably saw that they were starting to look a little ratty around the, the <laughs> tops because they were almost four weeks old. Actually, they were four and a half weeks old when I, when I finally cut them off. Yeah. So I'm going to use the excess ink that I use to watercolor the inside of my card for the second one. Just spritz it down and see what kind of look I can get on the front of this. This is, I'm going to attempt to do the bouquet card. Ooh, these are real vibrant colors too. Look at that. Okay, and then I can clean up this. And while that dries for a second, I'm gonna go grab a die. stamp off I made another panel with it 
and I lost my towel. Fell on the floor. There we go. Yep, you can dry in between colors. That'll help the colors not turn brown. And then picking colors. Okay. Um, just two, like, red and blue because they make purple. Or um, you don't want to pick, like, green and red because green is yellow and blue mix. So then you're using all three colors off the main color wheel. That makes sense. And I have a color wheel around here somewhere that I keep near my desk just so that I have it to take a look at. Yep. Your prime, your three primaries, uh, red, blue, and yellow. Mixed together turn into brown. Yeah. Make your brown. So if you pick a color that has two and then go with another color, you'll also make brown. Still looking around to see if I can find where that thing's hiding. Oh well. That's what happens every time I clean up my desk, I can't find things anymore. <laughs> yeah, I pretty much know where all my stuff is. Aside from, I can't remember what stamp company I have that makes what. So like when I was looking for my rectangle dies, I was like, okay, what company? So I have to find a better <laughs> organizing system for that. Oh, that rubs right off. That works. Well, I had the same problem. So I reorganized my stuff around Christmas, I think, and I still can't find anything. I organized <laughs> everything by category. Yeah. So um, these are plant dies so they're in with my plants but I have no idea who made them and yeah. then there's then there's all those times when you know I know Lawn Pond made that and yeah. you can't find anything because like okay which category did I put it in or did I leave it in a bin because I want to use it I've got a big bin under my desk with a bunch of Lawn Pond stuff because I'm doing the Dies RS design team thing and a lot <laughs> of their they have a lot of Lawn Pond on their website so that's why you've seen some um, interactive cards lately it's because I'm doing the design thing thing I gotta make myself actually use these things that I bought <laughs> <laughs> Give them a try and see if I can actually make them work. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I would. I like making interactive cards. I need to get into that. Yeah, I mean they're fun. I'm just always afraid I'm gonna mess them up. Like um when I did the, when I did my first, um. Magic Iris card. I had the hardest time getting anything to work with the darn thing. I just. I don't really know exactly why, but I had a hard time getting the um, the iris to actually work. Yeah. But then I've tried it since then, and it wasn't really a big deal. Okay, where did I put my stencils? Okay, Elizabeth, what did you do with my stencils? <laughs> Under S for stencils. <laughs> well, except I thought they were in my desk. <laughs> <laughs> because I've been using them so much lately. Okay. It's not in that good. bin. It's not in that one. I gotta scroll back up. Somebody. Good sales. Cordelia. I keep telling myself no more spending. Then these dastardly craft companies <laughs> have sales and I can't resist. I'm such a sucker for good sale. Yes. Well, I guess I could use this one, but they don't really have any big enough circles. So get a piece of scrap <laughs> let the force be with you Cordelia <laughs> well you know what I'd say I say you know use what you got but <laughs> we all like the new stuff too right so that's one reason why this, this last entire year I did almost no stamp or die spending I did really good but I still didn't use half of what I got yeah I am starting to use more of it though, so that's better. Oops. Yeah, I've been 
I've been spending because most everything I own is over 10 years old. I mean, we're looking at how old is my son? He's 15, going on 16. Wow. So, yeah, I've had most of my scrapbooking stuff for over 16 years. And so when we moved, we spent weeks in hotel rooms looking for a place to rent. And uh, I found out that YouTube had crafters. Because <laughs> I never really watched YouTube before we moved. And I'm like, oh, I need that. Oh, I need that. <laughs> so oh I've goodness. been buying a lot of stuff. But I've kind of slowed down because I know I need to use it. I have a whole stack of wooden shapes and other crafty things because I love other things besides card making. And so it's like, oh, what am I going to do? Where is... Did we cut this well enough? Oh my goodness, look at Ha <laughs> ha, look at that. That's the leftovers from that frame. Oh, wow. Awesome. All right. So we can just add a little bit of... Um, I think... No, I'll take it. Um, no, I'll foam it up. Let's foam it up. Uh, skinny foam. Well, a few years ago, I was doing, I started doing paper mache. Oh, yeah. For Halloween. I have been, my, my crafty thing has been Halloween, so I would only do Halloween. That's all I did. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, one of our, there's this area um, here, it's like on one of the bike trails. It's called Paint the Trail. Yeah. This guy started doing murals and putting them up on the um, on the fence. They're like fence po there's like fence panel murals and he was putting them up on the fence that lines the bicycle trail. Cool. And his his thing on Facebook is called Paint the Trail. So I thought, well, I could give it a try. And I got him to what he would do is he'd take one of those projectors and project the image up and then basically create a paint by number. Yeah. And he did one for Princess Bride for me. Oh nice. Yeah. Uh, so I've I done I've movie. done Princess Bride, I've done um Doctor Who, David Tennant, and then I did a Weeping Angel. Oh how fun. And somebody um on that same stretch of of uh, the same stretch of the bike trail, somebody put as their back fence, they made a TARDIS. Oh, nice. <laughs> the TARDIS is in bad shape right now, though. It really needs to be repaired and painted. But this has been like, I think I did my painting in 2014. So it's been that long ago. And then I started uh, started looking at Stalloween on YouTube and did some paper mache pumpkins. And those kept getting better each year. But I would only do it once a year. Yeah. And then I decided to make something for somebody at work. And she said, oh, you should teach this. You should do a <laughs> tutorial. I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> so I decided we, So I decided to do a couple of YouTube videos, and I didn't do the video on the thing that she said I should do it on. We should do, like, a craft together. Oh, my Halloween God. Stuff. Only thing is, the, the Halloween stuff takes forever. Yeah, it, it would have to be one of those special days where we just have a few hours and be like, okay, people, don't complain. <laughs> oh, well, paper mache takes longer than that. Yeah. It takes weeks. We can find those five-minute crafties. <laughs> you know, like the toilet paper rolls with the oh, yeah. glow sticks in them. Well, I've made, um, I've made floating candles. Um, I've done pumpkins for the jack-o'-lanterns. Actually, I've got a couple of them in my my junk room here I need to cut out a couple of these little guys <clears throat> and I'll use the heavyweight cardstock for that I think that turned out pretty good even though I don't the, the circles they needed to be more different shapes and mm -hmm. sizes and I basically but, got oh, just so the little really huh so that's really pretty yeah it's just got I, I don't really like the sizes on there but you know whatever 
it'll work. Yep. And I think I may do what you did and do a frame, which means put these guys in the middle. And, and then come back oh. and die cut a frame at the same piece. Paper, 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 more paper. I've got so much paper. You guys, you're all jealous. <laughs> oh, Elizabeth, you can make some Christmas cards like this design. You betcha. Absolutely. If you've got holly stamp, ooh, I do. I have a great holly stamp from uh, Anthony's Paper Craft, I think. You stamp your hollies in the corner, and you can do like a red red and green background or you can do um a blue purple sky because those are the cold colors and it would make it feel colder and you can just bust them out if you need to make a lot of cards you get the same base okay if you're making them all the same size it is so much easier and then you do it in parts so if you're doing stamping stamp everything if you're doing blending blend everything and get all of it lined up in your assembly line. But yeah, that would be pretty. Okay, I need another card base. And like, here I have a whole box full of card bases. <laughs> so I don't have to worry about it. Hobby Lobby is having a paper sale. Alright, I'll be sure to stay away from Hobby Lobby. I have very bad habit of buying paper, and I have so much. I like the dye you have, too. That's cute. Oh, that, um, I think it's eucalyptus, but I have no idea where I got it from. And yeah, it took I me think, like five minutes to, well, it took me a couple of minutes just to find my dies that I want to use for the frame. <laughs> yeah. See, that's my, is I, it's all in one spot. I was separating the dies from the stamps mm -hmm. companies and I'm like, nope. So stamps and dies go with the company. So I just need, uh, I downloaded the Color My Life app and you can put dies, stamps, all sorts of stuff in there and then give it a tag as to where it's at. So if I need a butterfly, I can hit the tag for butterflies and everything will pop up. Yeah, but I, I did the same kind of thing on with OneNote a couple of years back, but you know what? I haven't kept it up. That's my problem. Yeah, that's the biggest thing is to keep it up. Once and done. Yeah, exactly. Um, also, I, I keep having more ideas as to other stuff I want to do. Like, I've used and OneNote for it. I'm thinking of moving it over into ClickUp because I'm in ClickUp all the friggin' time. Yeah. But, um, haven't gotten there yet. Yeah. Because I got too um, much other stuff to do. The Color My Life app also has a, um, a project one, so you can add stuff to the project. Like, if I want to do the Technique Junkies stuff, I can put the stamp pads that I want to use, the dyes, the inks, the paper. Oh, okay. Create a project and tag it, yeah. basically link it to all of the um, all of the supplies. That makes sense. But I have trouble just making a, a friggin' sketch. <laughs> 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 I, I, well, that's the thing. I did um, for which card? Oh, for the card that is on this week's live, I did because I was so exhausted from, I think I caught a little bit of a bug last week, weekend, which means I wasn't sure if I was going to be doing this live or not because I had no idea. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think I've told you guys that I did get um, sick a few years ago, and I am meaning years, and the doctors never did figure out exactly what was wrong. I've got a lot of different things. I've got sleep apnea and... Um, they thought I had asthma because I was having breathing problems, yep. and yes, these are the right ones. Um, sleep apnea, I'm, they thought I was allergic to everything. I'm allergic to dust, <laughs> extremely allergic to dust mites. Um, acid reflux, which also can cause problems with your breathing. 
Yeah. Mostly it was where I, I guess I wasn't sleeping enough at night because I wasn't breathing well enough. Well, yeah. And I have been feeling so much better that I kind of forgot how bad I felt and some of the, just the physical symptoms that I was having before until this weekend when it seemed like it came back. So I wasn't sure if I was going to do live, which is one reason why I didn't contact you sooner to say, do you want to come do this with me? Hey, that's all right. Yeah. I am a stay at home mom. So I can easily go, okay, I'm going live. Well, you know what? I am a stay at home something. I don't know. I'm not, my, my kids are grown and out of the house yeah. and one of them passed away last year. Oh, um, they were my, they're my stepdaughters with my first husband who passed away in 2003 um, and I'm at home because my job basically had to let me go after I missed so much time uh, that first couple of years. Yeah. And I haven't, I don't feel that I have recovered enough. I'm not back to full strength. I just, I'm not. Right. I mean, I want to be, but I'm not. Yeah. That's going to be pretty. So which way do I want to go? Oh, I think I want to go this way. What do you guys think? With like the it. with the light up here, so it almost looks like that's where the sun is. Yeah, I think and I and like the colors aren't really it. coming through on the camera as well as I'd like, but that it's close awesome. enough, I guess. But that's it's gonna be still pretty. Really pretty. Yeah, okay, this is like this bright camera. pink up here. We have da -da -da. Debbie. What die cutting machine do you have? I'm using a Gemini Junior. Yeah, and the black mat that you saw, that is the magic mat from scrapbook.com. I've done a couple of videos showing how to use this, and I'm working on a video for the for a Dollar Tree version that took me forever just to get one. We were talking about Dollar Tree before, how sometimes they have stuff in the shop in the stores yep. and sometimes they don't. This is something else I had to order and wait for. So I had to order three Dollar Tree mats just so I could try one out and see how it compares. <laughs> so that is a video coming, but I love this. So far, I love this. And the biggest, I'll go ahead and give you a little, I don't know, a, a little opinion on that before that other video comes out. This is more flexible than the Dollar Tree mats. The Dollar Tree mats are really hard, which I don't think it warped as fast, but I don't, I really don't. Yeah, that's, that's a Dollar Tree mat. And it is. It's pretty stiff. That is really stiff. So I think this is probably going to work better long term. But replacing a Dollar Tree mat is a dollar if you can find it. Yep. So, I've got a couple of these waiting for when I get more subbies for giveaways. Awesome. I've got a whole pile of giveaways. <laughs> but I think I'm going to start doing giveaways before I reach my thousand goal because I'm just a slow growing channel. <laughs> I think I'm just going to have to be happy with my slow growing channel. And, uh, yeah, I, so. I've had my channel up since 2017, so it's been a while. And I've had and the mine. most growth this past year, and part of that started. I think my biggest jump to begin with was when I did, um, when I did the Scrap Hoarder series last year. Yeah. I need to figure out how to get a hold, because I found the Team Tiny one. Mm -hmm. And like um, the Empty Nest Scrapper, she's part of that collab, blue collab hop. Well, I'll oh, see what? if I can invite you to some of the groups that I'm on. I'm on Craft Collabs and Handmade Happiness and just different mm -hmm. things. So whenever they have one, they basically put up, you know, do you want to be involved with it? Uh -huh. And then um, they pick like usually they only pick like about 15 people so they're not too incredibly long i know yeah, this is probably. probably the wrong direction but oh well i still think that's going to be pretty yep and my pigment eat is still wet it's still shiny <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i can i can see about getting you invited to some of those and um, awesome. you know we could try doing some of these little collabs just to us sometimes if you want to i don't mind Hey, that would be fun. Uh, let's see. Um, Jean is making envelopes. Yeah, I am not an envelope maker. I will buy those. Envelope punch board is your friend. <laughs> yeah. 
Awesome. It is um, awesome. I love that thing. And I've made other stuff than just envelopes with it. And it's so easy. It's basically punch and score. That's it. Yeah. So now, this isn't I exactly would... straight, but because my frame is straight, I can trim it down after everything dries. There you go. <sighs> Gloria says she made a frozen pumpkin for Halloween when she worked at Michael's. Painted it in aqua glitter and made the crown on my silhouette. Cool. Gave it to a little girl with ALS, and she loved it. That's so fabulous. Let's see. Uh, Tracy from Not Afraid of Color. She likes the broke. Uh, is that how you pronounce it? Broke or bouquet <laughs> background? That's thank you very much. Okay, since you were talking about pumpkins, I was going to go get the one that I've got. <laughs> one of the ones that I made, the um, paper mache. And it's so high up, I can't reach it without a ladder. <laughs> it's like, it's up on top. of we, we got so much junk in that room, it's not even funny. So oh, I have I'm, the mixers confused, Debbie. Oh, she liked your background. Oh, thank you. Yeah, she was confused, yep. Miss Debbie's got her blue watch on. Yeah. Um, and I'm looking to see what what sentiment I want to do on this. And do I want to stamp it or do I want to die cut it? Because I bought, I also got out die cut letters, which I never use. Yeah. And see, me and sentiment, I say I need to get some, but even the ones I have, I don't use. I've got way too many sentiments. Oh, I know. I need to work on that, too. That's... Okay. That sneak peek card, this summer card. This stamp is from... Simon Says Stamp from, I think, 2018. And I've used it once. And the stamp on the inside is from that same stamp set. Nice. That's <laughs> so, cool. it's like, it's just... It's where I never use this stuff. I, I need to. Yeah. But, okay, there's so, okay, I've got more than enough supplies to probably make, if I only used everything once, I probably could do a card a day for like 10 years or something. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I know that was a slight exaggeration, but you probably guys feel me. <laughs> I know I've got enough paper for a few years. Okay, we were going to do a giveaway, so instead of, I will finish the card, I promise. Let me see if I can figure out how to do that. I know that, Miss Elizabeth, you did your um, Wheel of Names thing, and I'm not going to go uh -huh. through all of those to try to do that. I'm going to see if I can use the random comment picker on this video, even though it's not done. I have no okay. idea if it'll work. I think I've seen somebody else do that. I think like Crafty Owl did, which I'm going to go ahead and say this because I saw another one of their videos this week. They're the ones that inspired me to do the uh, the guest crafter. So um, oh, that's yeah, Crafty Owl did uh, has, does lives with her sister, and they do voting on a project, the whole bit, and they do they do a voting for giving away. I like that idea. Mary Landers, I just started following craft collabs. I did an ATC art book collab with Heidi Scandy. With Handy Scandy, awesome. Handy Scandy, sorry about that. Yeah. And Nancy May. Yeah, Nancy May was the oh, one that sent out all the invitations for this last group of um, of a bunch of different hops. And there's a couple of them I didn't get into, but that, oh well. I'm gonna be busy enough coming up that I'm not sure how much hopping I'm gonna be able to do. So let's see if this is going to work and then go back over to my YouTube and see if I can find the link. Ah, computer technology, right? What would we do right. without it? <laughs> let's see. Uh, I have to say that this is even this has been even more fun than I thought it was going to be, uh, Miss Elizabeth. So thank you so much. <laughs> I can't wait for more of you guys to come and hang out with me and play. Right. Remember, you don't need a YouTube channel. You can just have, I'm using my phone. 
the same device I do my videos with. I'm using my phone. And I joined her Zoom call, and she sets it all up on her end. It's really easy. Yeah, and joining a Zoom call is free. Yes. Um, for that it matter, is. the Zoom I'm using right now is also free. Now, see, I, I was going to ask you that because just a two-person, you know, this is pretty cool. Yeah, the, their rule is that if you want to do more than 40 minutes and have three or more people or three or more um, participants, it could be the same person on two, on two different devices, whatever. But if you want to do more than um, three or more, you can only do 40 minutes for free. Anything more yeah. than that, you need the paid plan or you need to log out and log back in, which yeah. I've done with my in-laws because my husband will be showing them the yard while I'm in here crafting <laughs> and then they run out of time. And you're like, oh, me. Yep. That's okay, awesome. so it's not going to let me do that for the to do the comments yet. It says that the comments are disabled. Probably, well, how would I be able to do comments when it's the chat? Stir. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to have to figure out how to do that. But in the meantime, I'm going to go and just I'm going to be quiet for a minute and see if I can write down all the names of all the people that are have come into the. And I'll use your spinner thing because I bookmarked that when I saw it because I thought that was cool. Wheel of Names. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and put some folks in there. You chat with the folks. And I'm turning off my mic for a minute so that, so right. that I don't accidentally interrupt and I can focus. You guys have any questions out there? Any exciting things that you're doing? Any scrapbook shows anybody's going to? I got to find some for around here. Jean says, I watch, no play. Usually when I watch videos, I just like to watch them. Scroll up and down and stop. Oh, <laughs> Gloria's doing ideas for name picking. I'm going to sneeze, pardon me. <laughs> <laughs> I even took a Benadryl before I came on. <clears throat> okay. I was watching your stencil. Yeah, I love stencils. Most of my stencils, I'm finding I'm really liking. I get at Joanne's. <laughs> Sweet, Gloria. She made 12 cards today. Rock on. I've got a bunch started for my two lives. I've got to put them all together. Karen Baker. She's going to a scrapbook show. 731 outside Syracuse, New York. So exciting. Yeah. Yes, I have really bad allergies. And some days I can keep them under control. And then others like this, <laughs> they say there's no control. Okay, Mary Landers, pro I probably missed it twice, but how did you affix your happy to the acetate? So for me, um, and let me check it because it's pretty dry. I was kind of worried, but I just used my Barely Art Glue. And I used the fine tip. Um, yeah, I have a bottle for each. I don't even have to worry. So they do have the fine tip and the, the boulder tip and I just used the fine tip so it wouldn't goose too much and then I just stuck them on there and it, they're they're pretty stuck it's the same glue I used for the gems all right me male birthday cards nice Oops, Gloria says, made 12 cards today. 12. Yeah. <laughs> Cordelia is like, what? <laughs> yep, when you sit down and get crafting, sometimes they just keep coming and coming. I was interrupted from crafting today. I'm sorry, Jean. All right. Get that back in there. And, uh, my beautiful blue toppers. All right. Any other things that I missed? Do, do, do. 
Gloria says, pretty card, Debbie. Love the colors. Everybody's saying hello to each other. I love that. Um, sorry, I missed your comment, Tracy. She says, you will never recover from the death of a child. My heart goes out to you. That's very sweet for Miss Debbie. I heard the barely, uh, barely does not show more. Okay, let me reread this. I have heard the barely does not show much with acetate. Yeah, I would say so because, I mean, you can kind of see a little halo with it, but it, I think it did really, really good. Debbie needs a glue topper. Does she? I did not do this. <laughs> <laughs> You're absolutely right. I've tried making my own and I can't find a long enough pen that is actually stainless steel. Mm. Because it's not really hard to make them. I made one before, but it got all rusty and yeah. If they're yeah. this these are the ones that come with the toppers are so short that it still gets clogged a lot. Huh. Of course, I think it, it's kind of helped that I've now got this refilled. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to try to share my screen. Actually, I'm going to do that over here. That would be good. Um, I know there's a way to do it. <laughs> Shout out to Gloria. Carmen says, yes, Gloria, she does. Do you know anyone that makes them? <laughs> Uh, um, Gloria, you know, and I swapped with the Foiling Snobs Club at one point, gave me um, a little, I don't remember what it's called, but it had a little loop on it, but it had all the cute little bling and everything on there, too. I think it's yep. to go on a phone or something, but I don't have it on my phone. Um, but, yeah, I need to, at some point, mm -hmm. get myself uh, a time. Okay, I, you know me. I already said I make uh, every, if I can make it, then I don't usually buy it. Yep. But I do know that those are absolutely gorgeous. Okay, and I can I'm, make these. I have there we go. That's what I wanted gems. to do. It didn't do it. Why didn't it do it? I want it to do this screen. It didn't. Share that screen. Come on. It didn't work. Darn it. Okay, what well, I'm going to go ahead and say what it, what it says. Um... <laughs> What is show number three? Share that screen. It's still not sharing that screen. Okay, the winner of my card, <laughs> since it's not wanting to share it, is Miss Susie Fick. <laughs> All right. Would you I'm, mind spinning that wheel again so we can see who gets these cards? Absolutely. So Fabulous. shuffle and then spin. I was impressed with myself. I was going to have this all showing it. It was going to be so cool. And the winner is Miss Gloria Wolf. Gloria. So this is something I have to learn how to do <laughs> is to share it. I need to set this up so it's already in my OBS and we will be good to go next time. Okay, um, we, <laughs> we've been on here forever. Um, thank you guys for dropping in. I'm going to go ahead and say we're going to stop now so you guys can go get something to eat. <laughs> And um, I'm going to be sending, I think I will send both of these cards out to Miss Susie. Thank you again. So be sure, I don't think I've got your email address yet. So send that over to me at debbieJ at um, debbiejscraftingcorner.com. And there should be a link down in the description for you. So go ahead and send me your address and I will send you this card that is done and this card when it's done. <laughs> And be sure that if you'd like to come on as a guest crafter, be sure to fill out that, that little application um, form thing down in the description and be sure to vote on next, next week's projects so that we will know what we're going to make. You know, it'd be fun. <laughs> so um, thank you again, Elizabeth, for coming on with me. This has been super fun, hon. I really thank appreciate it. Thank you very it. much. And Miss Gloria, if you would email me at chatwithsassy at gmail.com with your address, I will get you these cards in the mail tomorrow. 
I'll also add your um, email address down in the description when we're done too. Fabulous. Thank you. Okay. Um, if you guys don't have any other questions or anything, thank you guys for coming in and we will see you next week. Um, if not sooner, remember I've got a couple of hops this weekend and I know that Miss Elizabeth has got some other stuff coming on. Oh, by the way, I up just uploaded the happy mail video for um, this last month's hops and that's going up tomorrow. Cool. Fabulous. So you guys can take a look at all the fabulousness of all those. I love what you guys make and send to me during these swaps. It is awesome. So I, yeah. I love sharing it. So you guys have a wonderful night, and we will chat with you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.